Blue Star versus Red Knight. Both are sweet peppers and both I believe are hybrids. I'm not sure about Blue Star. This is what an average Red Knight looks like. They're kind of squatty, nice and fat. They'd probably make a good stuffing pepper. And this is the Blue Star pepper. It's a good bit longer, almost as wide. It's a bigger pepper all around. It's a bigger plant, it's a bigger pepper. Let's cut them open. Now the peppers are cut back because they were really tall and getting unmanageable. And I had a whole lot of peppers outside. So I cut these back and I want these to be a long-term grow in the greenhouse. And you can see they're starting to come back. And uh, obviously these are. So we'll take these peppers. I'm going to take all three off of each plant. And here they are side by side. We have Red Knight on the right and Blue Star on the left. You kind of get a general idea what they look like. I can tell you from plant habit, uh, Blue Star grows taller, bigger, produces a lot more bells and uh, quite a bit faster and earlier than Red Knight. Red Knight was real slow to come on and but they produce pretty uniform peppers. The draw, One of the drawbacks of uh, Blue Star is you can get multiple lobes from three to five, as you can see there. So let's cut these bad boys open and see what they look like. And that's what they look like. I'll bring you in close so you can get a good look. It looks to me like the walls are probably about the same, about the same thickness. It looks like Blue Star, even though the name is blue, gets a little darker red. You can tell me what you think about that. So uh, that's basically the difference. One is bigger, wall thickness is about the same. Let's give it a taste test. It's been raining so much here, guys. I'm doing this in the rain. Anyway, uh, let's give it a taste test. We'll start with the Red Knight here. Just take a piece. Mmm. That's a good red bell. It's lost some of the little bit of bitterness you get with a green bell. It's really sweet. For a pepper, you know. Mmm, that's quite good. It's a very good pepper. It tastes fantastic. All right, let's try the Blue Star. Well. The Blue Star doesn't have any of the bell pep, any of the bitterness of a green bell pepper, but it's not as sweet as the Red Knight. The Red Knight is a good bit sweeter. Mm. Sorry if I'm smacking. It's still a real good pepper. Man, I was leaning towards only growing this one. Really, I was, but. The taste on the Red Knight is really good. Hmm. Yeah, and it's got more bell flavor to it. It's got, I don't know if that makes sense, but it has a lot of bell pepper flavor and sweetness. This one's kind of like a watered down bell pepper taste. Hmm, I got to give the Red Knight the winning taste for sure. Um, I wish it was bigger, like the Blue Star. 
All right, six good bell peppers for the price of video. <laughs> I wanted to give the other two an equal taste test, so I have three to sample from each one. So all in all, I have to give the edge to Red Knight. It's a hybrid. I think I got it from Johnny Seeds. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you later. I decided to go get one of my peppers that was a surprise from uh, Joe that sent me from Craigfire. And I want to do a comparison while I got Bell on my mind. So I grabbed three. Now this Bell light pepper, uh, to me it tastes just like a bell pepper. Um, anyway, um, they uh, were surprisingly fa I mean, these things grow fast and they put on um, peppers like crazy and they turn red really fast. So let's have a taste. Let's, let's throw in another contender. For a small pepper, that's a pretty dang thick wall. That is nearly as thick as the bigger peppers. All right, let's give this one a taste, see what she tastes like. Mmm. Guys, that's really good. That has got a heavy bell taste to it. A really, really strong bell taste. It's not as sweet as a Red Knight, but it's not as unsweet as the Blue Star. Zero heat. Zero heat to this. Man, this is making a strong case for using this as my bell because of how fast they turn and how many they grow. Hmm. I know one thing, I will grow it. Whether or not I use any other bell is another question, but I will definitely grow this again.